Hello, I'm Chris Menard. I have a great Excel video today on using the filter function in Microsoft Excel for the web. So I'm going to pull up Microsoft's support website before I even run through this video just to show you who has this function available. So I will put a link to this URL, the support site, in my description. But this function is available for everyone that has Excel for Microsoft 365 which used to be Office 365, Excel for Microsoft 365 for the Mac, Excel for the web, which is what I'm going to do today. Also, we have iPad. I'll let you read that later. Anyway, who doesn't have this is Excel 2019 and Excel 2016 and even 2013. Uh, also, there's an important note here about when you're going to get it. If you say, Chris, I already have Microsoft 365, but I don't have it yet. This will explain when you're going to get it. But today's video is about it already being available on the web. I am in a free Microsoft 365 account that I have. I pulled up Excel on the, for the web. I've got a list of data in column A through column, J, column I. And I'm going to use the filter function. I'll do this a couple different ways. Then I'll even throw in a couple tips. I'll do an advanced filter function where I look at two items. Last week I covered sorting, the sort function, which is also for the web. I'll combine the sort function with the filter function. So let's go ahead and get started with the really easy one. I want to filter, if you notice in column E, I have states. I want to see the state of Georgia, which is GA. So I'm going to do equals filter. Double clicked it. I'm going to highlight. I'm not picking up the header row. I'm going to highlight whatever data I want to filter. I'm going to just pick up the entire range I have over here, or the array. The second argument is required. So the first argument is A2 to I25 required. The second one's also required. What do you want to filter by? What do you want me to include in the filter? Well, I told you I'm looking for the state to be Georgia, so I'm going to select that range. I'm going to do this a different way in a second, but I'm actually going to type in equals GA, comma, the third argument, if empty, is not required. I'll show you that in a second, but I do have people in Georgia, so I'm good right here. So two of the three arguments I had to use, I'm going to press enter. And there are my results. If you look in column O, everyone is GA, so it is working. Uh, there are my customers right here. It doesn't pull over the header row, so I could copy the header row A1 to I1 and paste it up here if I wanted to. So there's method one. Method two, let's say I know I'm looking for states. So instead of, I'm going to delete this and go from scratch. I'm going to put the word state over here to the right, going to go back to K, so here we go again, equals filter, go a little faster this time, pick up the range, comma, what am I looking for? I'm trying to find if the states, which I'm selecting here, equals, but instead of having to type in GA in double quotes, I'm looking for V2, again, I don't have anything that's empty, I'll show you that in a second, same exact results as before except I'm referencing a cell V2. The filter function is a dynamic array function. So if I come and click somewhere else, notice in the formula bar right above column C, it is grayed out till I go back to K2. So if I hit delete here, I know you can't see me pressing it, but I'm hitting delete, nothing's happening. I gotta delete it from K2. I'm gonna do an undo and bring it back. Here's my example this time. I'm looking for people in um, looking for people in Arizona, which is AZ. I don't have anyone in Arizona over in column E. So I got pound count exclamation point. So this is where that third argument, which is not required, comes in. If empty, what are you gonna do? Not in, I'm making this up, not in data set 
There you go. All right, so now let's get really fancy with it. I'm going to, I'll leave that over there. I'm going to do a filter function using two criteria. So I'm looking for, I'll keep this simple. I'm still looking for Georgia. But if you notice over in column D for my cities, I kept this really easy. I only have two people in Georgia. I got people in Atlanta. But then I got some people in Athens, Georgia. If you look at row 25, you'll see an Athens down there. So here we go again, equals filter all the way from scratch, highlight this, comma, includes. I didn't do this the first time because I was only looking for one criteria. I'm going to do an open parent. And I don't care whether you do the city first or the state. Since I've been picking on states, I'm going to stick with the state first. That is going to equal GA. I'm going to close the parent. Uh, times another open. I'm looking for the city to look for Atlanta, I believe I said. I could reference these, by the way, in two cells. I'm about to do that in case you're saying, Chris, could you have done that? Um, I am actually, how about another close? I think I am done right here. I know that I've got stuff here, so I'm not going to use the if empty, the third argument. So I should only get people that are in Atlanta, Georgia. I want to test that real quick if you don't mind. Let's do a data sort. Uh, let's do by state. And if you don't know how to sort, I went to the data tab. I hit sort. I'm going to click add and add city. It'll sort the state before it sorts the city. That's the priority order going down. And we said Atlanta, Georgia, one, two, three, four, five. There we go. Good. It is working. Okay. Just so you know this, GA, I'm not going to type the word city, but I could next to the word Atlanta. Well, I lied. I'm going to type the word city. Let's just keep it right. So now just to, just to show you that this works. So I'm referencing cells this time, still getting the exact same answer. But what's cool about this is watch this. I don't care about Atlanta. Now I do care about Athens. There you go. What's also nice about doing the filter using the filter function instead of going to data filter, which is I still love doing, by the way. I have only three people in Athens, Georgia, but let's say, oh, Bill is mistaken. That was Athens GA, so there's Bill. Cool. I'll leave that there. Last one. I'm going to stay here. I did the sort function last week. I'll have a link to the description down below, but there it is up in the top right. If you want to see the sort function for Excel for the web, I'm going to add it to the filter function before it. So equals sort and then I'm going to filter. I'm back in the sort function. What sort index, what do you want to sort by? I want to sort by income. That looks like it's the eighth column going across there in my data. Comma. Sort order. Do you want to sort it ascending or smallest to largest? Or do you want to sort the income largest to smallest or descending? Uh, a to Z, ascending is a 1. Descending is a negative 1. So this one should be done. So I should get the exact same results that I have, but I should be sorting by column R in my data. So before I press enter, notice I've got, I'm rounding here. Notice I got 74 before I have 60, before 91, before 79 in column R. Perfect. Look up in the formula bar right above column C. There's my formula. The negative one said descending or largest to smallest. If I change it to a one just to make sure it works. 
if I change it to a one, it does work. Anyway, so there is the filter function for Excel for the web. You'll also have it on your desktop if you are a Microsoft 365 subscriber. And one more time, just to pull up this um, URL will be available down in my YouTube description. Make sure you read that note about, hey, do I have it? Do I not have it? Great, great function. One of the many dynamic array functions that are part of Microsoft 365. Thank you for your time. Feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you have any comments or questions about any of these Excel functions I've been doing for Excel for the web, please let me know. Have a good weekend. Thank you.